Since I started this channel, I've uploaded 3 videos about modding for Space Engineer, but this time I want to do the ultimate modding video for beta version of the game, and of course for 2017. Hey everyone, this is Game Horizon and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineer's modding video. Before we start, I have to apologize for my bad English, it's not my main language, but I'll try to do my best. Now, for this video, I'm going to focus only on the survival mode and the mods that can improve our experience with the survival aspect of this game. I've decided to divide our mod list into three categories. 1. Mods that will improve our experience by adding different functionalities to the game without ruining the balance of the game, basically functional mods. 2. Mods that are overpowered and not balanced compared to other stuff in the game but they are not ridiculously broken or unbalanced. Basically, they'll help you to progress faster and a bit easier. 3. Mods that won't offer any improvement to the gameplay of the game but surely can help you feel more attached to your creation while playing the game, like decoration blocks. And one more thing. It's the same thing in every game, the more mod you add, the more unstable your game will get and you'll end up experiencing longer loading time, frame drop, simulation speed drop and misbehaving from the game and uh, misbehaving from other mods actually. Personally, I always stick to only 10 to 15 mods, less than 3 scripts and always make sure you have backup from your save. Now, let's start with our first category, 1. Exploration Enhancement Mod. For me, the most important thing in survival games is exploration. Exploration is the only thing that makes me want to come back and play more. Unfortunately, in Space Engineers, there is little to none sense of exploration. So after 20 hours, the game will get really boring for me. But the Exploration Enhancement mod completely changes the way you play the game. A huge expansion for your survival experience. It's more of a gameplay overhaul, actually. There's new AI, security system, factions, new currency, trading, police, military, cargo ships, pirates, custom factions, and lots more. Unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, uh, the mod is very unstable, and I think it's because of the game updates and not the mods itself, actually. So I don't really recommend using this. Recommend using this mod at this time. Wait a few months until the game is a bit more stable so you can have a smoother experience with this mod. 2. Energy Shields I just love this mod, it's super useful and I think it's a must have mod if you're going to use the exploration mod. This mod saved my ass so many times. Sometimes you spend a lot of time getting all the resources you need to build your ship and then you spend many many hours to design and build your ship. After finishing it up, you want to get her for a spin before blocking off the game. So you are basically going to rush it and boom, you've just managed to hit something. Nah, you're mad, like really mad. But it's okay, you had shield on your ship and nothing really happened. Yep, that actually happened to me. Anyway, I highly recommend to have this mod and no, it does not break the balance of the game. First of all, it's not easy to make. Second, you need the space to use them. And third, they use a lot of power to function. So that's why I think it's not broken or unbalanced. Number 3. So for number 3 I'm actually going to have 3 mods. I know that sounds really weird but the mods that I'm going to show you guys works perfectly fine with each other. And they somehow complete each other. This is why I like to put them in one spot. First one, aerodynamic physics. 2. Mid space ship uh, speed. It's basically a, a, a speed increase for your ships. Aerodynamics wins blocks for planet atmosphere. If you guys decide to use all of these at once, be very careful. It will change the way you fly the ships in atmosphere, of course. Entering the planet atmosphere never was a challenge before, but this mod will change that for you. If you enter the atmosphere too fast, you will end up burning your ship and you may end up killing yourself. You need to think before making a ship. The way you design them will change the way they fly and handle. You may end up using more fuel or you may end up using less fuel, depends on the way you design your ship. The speed mod will increase the speed of your ship up to, for small ships will increase up to 460 meters per second, for large grid ship will increase up to 400 meters per second. This speed increase makes things way more interesting and fun. It, it's a must have mod, especially at the beginning of the game where you spawn inside the lander. Race for impact. And the last one, wing blocks. With the help of this mod, you can build a proper airplane. 
and um, I mean literally airplane and with that you can save a lot of time and fuel just don't crash number four small ship mega mod pack so if you've been playing a space engineer for some time now you should know that you can't use all of the available blocks on small ships like jump drives but thanks to this mod you can now it's super useful especially for the first 20 hours of the game number five azimuth i think it's I think that's how you say it, Azimuth. I'm not sure. Sorry if I butchered that name. Azimuth Complete Mega Mod Pack. This mod pack has everything you need for creating a ship, rover, station, mining base, or whatever. This mod is highly recommended for everyone. If you don't want to use any mods, just have this mod. Number six MCM boarding ramps or just the boarding ramps. So for number 6, we have two mods that kind of have the same functionalities but not really. I usually go with the first one, it comes in different sizes and variants and you can use them as a hangar doors and you can easily fit a smaller rover or a drone through it. Maybe a small fighter. But the second one is only good for your character and nothing else. Though the way you install them is different actually. The MCM ramps are mostly designed to be installed at the side or the front or the back of your ship. But the second ramp is designed to be installed at the bottom of your ship. Number 7. Nanite Control Factory. Probably one of the most impressive mods that I have ever seen from Space Engineers modding community. And one of the most useful mod in our list. It can build ship, mine, salvage and more. It's a must-have mod for survival and no it's not in balance. Here's why. First of all, it's hard to make, like really hard to make. Not even that, it uses a ton of power. If you don't pay attention, it will burn through all of your uranium like nobody's business. And also has a limited range. And the nanite factory also comes with upgrade slots that you can use to reduce power usage or speed up the process. There's like medical upgrade, mining upgrade and many many more. One more thing, just don't try to make the nanite factory at the beginning of your playthrough. Spend at least 15 hours with the game, make sure you are ready for it. Then enjoy the rest of your life in the planet trying to survive or in the space or whatever. Number 8, MCM Landing Elevator, another awesome mod from MCM. Well, this is an elevator inside of a piston, kind of. Trust me, you never know when you're gonna need an elevator on your creation, so just put it somewhere useful and then thanks me later. Number 9 Industrial Cockpit and More. This mod is from Ectosage, probably one of my favorite Space Engineers YouTube channel and gaming YouTube channels overall. The main reason I use this mod is a clear view I'll get from the new cockpits that come with this mod. And I usually use this mod for making mining ships, grinding, welding or like recon ships with small blocks of course. Very high quality and beautiful models as always. Number 10 a -like door glasses and corners. Setting up a proper a -like for a ship or a station can sometimes be quite annoying. So with the help of this mod you can save your time and not get headache while trying to set up a proper a -like. No additional piping, vent oxygen tank, timer or sensor, programmer block, script, nothing. Just use this mod and save your time. Number 11. Tiered ship tools. I don't know why, but for some reason Kin decided not to use their uh, upgrade modules anymore and that is just a missed opportunities. But thanks to this mod, we can now upgrade our welders, grinders and drills in different ways by making, by making upgrade modules for them. Okay, there we go, 11 mods that I think that are necessary to have with the survival to improve our experience. Now, as I said before, some of these mods might not behave or work properly after game updates. So always check the mod page for more information on the state of the mod. Oh, one more thing guys, here are the list of the mods that I used to use but I don't use them anymore uh, for different reasons but I thought you might be interested. In case gyroscopes, cold command consoles, force field, reworked armor ramps, slope LCD panels, 
exterior hatch advanced door mod packs and ladder now let's move to our second category the overpowered and not balanced mods so we only have four mods in this lead so let's just go through them really fast one automated beam drill two s modular thrusters three heli carrier thrusters so these are three mods that are overpowered but they're not ridiculously overpowered if i had to choose one i would have probably picked heli carrier thrusters it might come in handy if you want to build a mobile base now for the fourth one we have hacking computers now this one is a bit on the weird side of the things this one is amazing but it's kind of game breaking if you find a way to sneak up to the pirate ships or a station, you can place these hacking computers on them and start claiming their shit. So I don't know. Use it if you want, surely add some really cool gameplay elements to the base game. And for our last category or the decoration blocks mod, we have benches. Irish store? Irish store? Irish? I, I don't know how you spell that. Decoration and more. Tech mess hall. And toiletries. XPAR, XPAR toiletries. Okay, that was it. The ultimate space engineer survival modding. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. If you did not, please go ahead and dislike this video, but please let me know how can I improve it. And leave a comment down there, let me know your thought on the list and if you have a better list or your own list, write it down, I want to see it actually. Oh, and make sure to share it with your friends and especially those who don't really like to play survival game, survival aspect of this game, they might find this video useful. And once again, sorry for my bad English, it's not my main language, but with the help of you guys, I'm trying to improve it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Fly safe.